morning, KMMA tribe, friends, and family. I hope this message finds you well. I hope that you are off to an amazing uh, new year, that you're having a great 2023 already. We are one week in already. And uh, let's make this the best year ever. Today's meditation on mastery, I want to start by talking about something. You know, I have a friend named Scott Duvall, and he says uh, he always leads the introduction to talking about this particular thing with, with this riddle. He says, uh, babies cry for it, men die for it. What is it? Significance. And living a life of significance is one of the ways in which we live a happy, fulfilling life. And you know, I thought, by the way, quick aside, I thought that it was in Wild at Heart that uh, that John Eldridge had talked about. But as I sh flipped through it again this morning, I realized, one, it's been too many years since I read it. I'm going to read this again, too. But two, it's, I don't think it's this book, but there's there's a book, and I'm pretty sure it was Eldridge, where he talks about the passages through a man's life and how, you know, you know you're the squire and then you're the knight. And then you go on and then, uh, you know, get into the stage where you become the king. And then after that is the stage of the sage. And I think it's, it's such, you know, one of my mentors, uh, you know, Grandmaster Jeff Smith just left. I got him to the airport this morning. He spent the weekend with me. And I often think about it. He's 75 years old. And he's so full of passion and vigor and energy. And I really think it's it's because he's still living a life of purpose. He is still living a life of significance. And for him, look, he, he, he became a millionaire many years ago and, and was very successful in business after being a, a world champion and, and, and coaching teams and all kinds of sig things of significance. In fact, my wife and I were talking this morning about the students that, that he's had, like football players and politicians and Tony Robbins, uh, you know, just so many significant, a life of significance, but he's still living at 75 because he's still coming and helping people like me that are still in the battle to become the best and highest version of ourselves. And I think that, that living a life of significance truly is one of the things that keeps us young and alive and, and, and going for all of our lives. Today I wanted to talk about something um, way more, more uh, well, something significant in our life in a not good way. And I'm talking about anxiety. And, uh, you know, my wife this morning, I bought her a, uh, I do a Maxwell Leadership Bible, but I bought her a, uh, a Bible from Max Lucado. Um, a while back and she's been doing a great job of reading every single night but this morning she shared this with me and I just took a picture of it so I could share it with you today it says uh, first of all it shares this scripture it says you cannot any time you cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it Matthew 6 27 but then Max Lucado's write-up is really awesome too he says uh, no one has to remind you of the high cost of anxiety but I will anyways uh, worry Worry divides the mind. The biblical word for worry, and then he says uh, the thing I probably cannot pronounce it correctly, but it's merim now, is a compound of two Greek words, marizo to divide, and nous the mind. Anxiety splits our energy between today's priorities and tomorrow's problems. Part of our mind is on the now, the rest is on the not yet. The result is half-minded living. That's just good stuff. I don't care who you are. Uh, he says, that's not the only result. Worrying, he says, uh, worrying is not a disease, but it causes disease. It has been connected to high blood pressure, heart trouble, blindness, migraine, headaches, thyroid malfunctions, and a host of stomach disorders. Anxiety is an expensive habit. Of course, it might be worth the cost if it worked, but it doesn't. Our frets are futile. Worry has never brightened a day, solved a problem, or cured a disease. And that is powerful stuff. Um, got me thinking, and I realized how these things are interrelated. Significance and anxiety, I think, in, in, in at least this one way. I teach here, uh, one of our Black Belt Leadership Principles are, is the circle of concern and the circle of control. I uh, can't even remember who I originally learned it from. It might have been John Maxwell, but... Uh, or might be Stephen Covey, it, it doesn't matter. Circle of concern, circle of control. Uh, the circle of concern are all the things in life that we truly care about. And the circle of control are all the things in life that we actually have control over. 
And if you envision those two circles as a Venn diagram, there's a place, of course, where the two intersect. And in those two, uh, in the intersection of those two circles is the only place that we should focus our time, energy, and attention. You see, I believe that anxiety, that costly, costly thing called anxiety that Max Lucado just spoke about, comes especially when we spend too much of our time on things that we perhaps have some concern over, but can do nothing about. And, you know, of course, an important part of this whole thing, if you're a believer like I am, is uh, sur surrendering things over to God that you can't control. But I believe the other piece is doing everything we can do in all the areas that we can control. And this is where I think it, it ties back to significance, right? Because all of us are called to do something significant in our life. And as I alluded to at the beginning uh, of this message, depending on where you are in life, those things change. But we all have roles and goals and, and, and callings that we're meant to fulfill. We have a place where we can provide significance to others. You know, and those might be others in our in our family, uh, you know, in our immediate life. Uh, maybe beyond that, you may have a tribe or, or, you know, other people that follow you. But the point is that there is significance in this thing and that your significance is in a place where your, your circles of concern and control do intersect. Therefore, when you're operating in this place, you're operating from a place of peace instead of operating from a place of, of fret and worry and anxiety uh, because you're because you're applying focus to things you cannot do anything about. Look, I know it's a way bigger discussion than what I just gave, but I hope this was good for somebody uh, today anyway. And uh, I hope that you will comment and, and let me know your thoughts. And most of all, I hope that you make this a great day and a great week. If you are a member of my tribe at Krav Martial Arts, I, I look forward to seeing you on the mat tonight or tomorrow uh, or sometime this week.